as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yep. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside the house. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, he, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to wrestle, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend. Unable to land with that punch. Straight right is there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice loop at once. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And there it is, tail of the fight, landing and knee with the body. And they are exchanging leather early. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. I don't need else why he playing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. with the left there. even gotten started. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Look at the whip action that comes to just throwing that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice. Head kick 
is blocked. Lunges forward with a left there. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Dez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Misses there with the left. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Two head kick lands. Able to check that kick as well. To that leg. Oh. Let's go. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right. Round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Checks the leg kick. shots DC but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations it's because he's not committing to it fully he throws his jab he may blow the right hand out there but he's not really sitting down on the right hand he really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it he's got to be confident that it's going to land and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes I mean look at the commitment to kick it Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You have to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Beautiful strike. And both guys really flowing with authority. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 
nice leg kick land. Defensively, double leg takedown, no good. Got to the clinch, controls the posture, and lands with big knees from the close. Way to hide that leg oh. kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, he might be out. than we saw in round one, and now starting to find it. Oh, oh. Great point. Trying to double up on that jab. Big head kick. How good is that right hand? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. If your opponent has to hit the clinch, pull it down on your head, Landon. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice punch. Whoa. Holy smoke! You put him to sleep. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Burst by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Watching this one back, let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by... Oh!